Okay, let's take a look at the website here. <clears throat> okay, so you first uh, you asked me how to log in to make a sync to the website. So let me show you the difference uh, so you can see how to make it work. See, this one is your website, um, and this one is Clover, right? Okay. So if you want to make changes to your website, you have to go to your website, not Clover. This one, you make changes for reporting, transactions, um, you make changes to the prices, you make changes to the categories, uh, you make changes to the inventory. But if you want to make changes to the website, you have to do from here because this one is different from this one, right? Okay, let me show you how you how do you log into the website. This one, you go to your website, see chickandchuck.com, you put forward slash WP admin like this, see? WP admin like that, okay? And then once you do that, you press enter and then you log into your website, okay? Very simple. Once you're in the back end of the website, then this is your back end. See, this is where you make all the changes from. Okay, earlier you, we discussed that you wanted me to sync the website, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. See, to sync the website, you go right here. See, Clover Orders, and then you go Settings. Okay. This is where you sync it. Uh, you press Import Inventory, and then it says manual sync. So what you do is you select what you make changes for. So if you make changes for the modifier, you press update modifier. So this goes and checks your Clover station and sees if any modifier changed, it will update for you. Update category. Update all items. See? Like that. Now it's going to update it for you. So the website has the same menu as the Clover. So this is important to do this whenever you make changes to your Clover POS. Uh, this will update it for you, okay? That's how you do that. Now, there's also clean inventory. This one is if you remove stuff from your inventory. Let's say you remove modifiers, taxes, you change lots of stuff, then you do clean inventory. Uh, this one, I did it for you earlier, uh, so because it takes longer, so I, I don't want to uh, make the video too long for you, but I already did this one for you, okay? And then the other question you asked, you said, um, the store interface uh, doesn't go back. You said, let me go take a look. Let me go to your order online page. Okay, while it's going there, I'm going to show you how you can change that. It's very simple. Look, see right here, store interface. You have five different ones to choose from. Look, we have one, two, three, four, five. So if you don't like this one, you can choose this one, right? Look, I will choose this one for you. This one allows you to stay on the same page, right? So I change it for you. Now take a look. Before, it looked like this, okay? Now I refresh it. Now it looks different. Now... The customer can stay on the same page when they order. See? Very simple. Look, I order my uh, fries and Diet Coke, and then I say one op, one of those for me. And then the re how do I do that? I did that by changing it in the back here. See, I changed it. Now look. See, look. Now I say, you know what? Now I go and choose a, um, a dessert. And I choose my dessert. See? Everything is over here now. See? Now your customers don't have to go back to the category because their categories are all right here for them. They can easily check out and choose different categories, you see? So this makes it easier for them, see? All your salads, everything is here, okay? So again, you have many options uh, on your website. Uh, maybe you didn't know about this, but you have different store interface to choose from, right? You have five of them. So I think this one is best for you because you mentioned to me that you want your customers stay on the same page, uh, and this one solves that, solves that for you, makes it easy for them. And then the other question you asked for me uh, was about the menu. You mentioned you want me to remove all the dessert for you. Let me take a look at the dessert. Okay, so let's take a look. You said all the desserts, all the donuts in the desserts you want me to remove for you? Yeah, so you go like this. Clover orders, settings. And then you go find the dessert category, right? I don't know if you mean from your website or from your menu. I mean your order online page or your menu because they're two different things. So I find donuts for you. Where is donuts, 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 uh, donuts. Where's your donut category? I think maybe you don't have donuts, do you? Okay, maybe you're talking about the other menu. Okay, let me tell you something. There, you have two menus. You have order online, which is your online menu for your customers to order. And you have this menu. I think you asked me to remove the donut for you from this menu. So to remove from this one, uh, it's simple. You go here. Where's your donut? I don't see donut. Donut, 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 donut. 
Oh, sorry, not donut. I apologize. Desserts, yeah, desserts. Okay. Where's your donuts here? Cookies, cookie, cookie. Oh, I don't see donuts. Okay. Um. Anyhow, I will ask you more about that because you asked me to remove the donuts. I don't see donuts here. Maybe let me check over here. Maybe it's on the order online page. Let's find desserts here. Desserts. Um, brownie. Let's take a look here. Oh, I see these donuts. Okay. Okay, I understand now. You want me to remove special donuts, mini donuts, caramel donuts, jelly donuts? You want me to remove this for you? Okay. I will show you how I can remove that for you. It's very simple. So what you would do here, you go under uh, items images. And then I click on donut. Now all the donuts you have appears here. See, look, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven donuts. I hide this one. Um, and then you had some more. So anyhow, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all the donuts for you. Uh, I think this is what you asked me to do. So I'm going to hide uh, chocolate donuts, um, halva donuts, all of them from the website. Okay. And then uh, let me see. You asked. You had asked one more question too. Uh, let me look up your other question. Okay. As you can see, I removed all the donuts. See all these donuts here. It says it's hidden from the website. When it's in yellow color like this, it's not appear on the website. See, it says show on website because I hid it for you. So let me show you what I mean. let me show you what I mean by that. See, when I when I go to desserts, uh, let me just refresh the page. I'm gonna refresh the page so all the donuts don't show up no more. Okay, let's see donut uh, donuts under desserts, right? Now look, see all the donuts are gone because what I did was I went in the back end and I told the, the website not to show the donuts. See, I did it from here. All of the donuts are gone now. See, it's refreshing now. Now it's no donuts. Okay, so uh, these are the changes uh, that I made for you. Uh, let me know if I missed a donut or if I missed some other item. Uh, I believe I got it all. Okay, and again, let me know what you think about this store interface. I think this one looks very nice. Uh, it's easier for your customers because they are staying on the same page. So if I want to choose different category, I don't have to go back. I can just click on here and go to the different category. So again, each store interface, uh, these are called store interface right here. Each one has different uh, features, right? Each one has different way of doing things. Some people like this one, some people like this one, some people like this one, some people like this one. That's why we have five of them to choose from. Uh, other uh, other um, companies don't have this many choices, so we give you lots of choices to choose from, okay? Let me know what you think about all this. Thank you so much.